NFR at 345 is sponsored by Las Vegas Motor Speedway, bringing you NASCAR and NHRA for more than 25 years. Welcome in everyone. I'm your host, Cassie Soto. If you're keeping track with us here, we are on day five of the 2020 National Finals Rodeo. And joining us today is three-time NFR qualifier, Utah native bull rider, Tyler Bingham. Tyler, how you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great today. It's, a, it's warm outside finally. Very good, very good. Well, uh, tonight, like I said, we're, we'll, we will be at the halfway mark. I know these last two nights haven't really gone your way, Tyler, but what's your mentality coming into tonight? Do you know anything about the bull you're riding tonight? Yeah, I got a bull from Bar T Rodeo, which is just, you know, a couple hours from my house. And uh, he actually originally came from Garrett Smith, another bull rider who's made the finals a few times. And uh, he's a bull I've wanted forever. I guess we just had to come clear down here to Texas to match up. He's awesome, though. I, I'm not going to lie. I was hooping and hollering finally in the locker room. Um, I was I was pretty excited about my first one, too. It just, you know, it was just kind of a weaker trip. But this one I was actually truly excited for. I, the last couple, I really, I don't know, last nights I had no idea. I'd never heard of it. Never been to one of them people's rodeos before. I'd never, you know, I didn't know anything about that bull. And then uh, the one the night before that, I, that was the only bull at the finals I really dreaded and just because he's so bad in the shoots. He's awesome in the arena. He bucked great, but he's so bad in the shoots. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't deal with shoot fighters that much. I don't have the, the patience for him, I should say. <laughs> well, bull riding uh, runs in your family, Tyler. Your little brother, Tim, is also a bull rider. He unfortunately missed this year's NFR. Would you say that it, there's some friendly competition there for you two to hopefully one day to compete together at the NFR would that be like a dream come true for your family oh yeah that would be absolutely awesome we wouldn't have to be scrambling for tickets no more that would be great uh there's really no competition when it comes to anybody or anyone between any of us it's just I mean we just ride our bulls and then at the end of the day it just pans out the way it's supposed to so I have to ask if bull riding is your day job what do you do for fun because I can't imagine there's a whole lot things more exhilarating out there for you guys uh, I'm in the mountains a lot hunting or, you know, doing stuff like that. I ride my horses quite a bit or as much as I can. I like to go to Brandon's and stuff with a bunch of people around the valley that I live in. Um, then I, I kind of tinker around with some construction a little bit here and there. But that's what my dad does. He he owned a construction company forever. Now he's a supervisor for one of his friends. And then Tim's actually got a little construction company, too. So we'll tinker around with that just a little bit. So we said at the top here, this is your third time qualifying for NFR. So you, that means you've been in Vegas for the past two. What have you seen so far as the comparisons from Vegas and Texas now? You can't compare the two. There's absolutely no comparison between them. All that I am, I'm extremely grateful that we were able to have it here or anywhere really at that, in, for that matter. But there's absolutely no comparison. You can't compare two cities to one another. Every city is so unique in its own ways. And you said it there, grateful to have NFR. 2020, of course, has been a whirlwind of a year for all of us. But how nice is it that something familiar is happening? NFR in December. How grateful are you for it? I'm extremely grateful. I mean, most people like me, I mean, we rodeo all year long. And then a year like this, we were spending 1000 to $1,500 to get to a rodeo to win $500 just so we could qualify for this event. It, uh, I mean, most people are kind of in the same boat I am. Without this event, we would... I mean, we'd have no egg nests, you know, to even start next year with. We would be just high and dry. Get, I guess we'd all be homeless here pretty quick. <laughs> well, Tyler, thank you so much again for taking some time. Best of luck to you these next five nights. Go win some money. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Once again, that was bull rider Tyler Bingham. NFR at 345 is brought to you by Las Vegas Motor Speedway, home to the Pennzoil 400 and South Point 400 NASCAR races. We will be back tomorrow again at 345 with another special guest interview. Until then, be sure to head to reviewjournal.com backslash NFR for everything you need to know about this year's NFR. I'm your host, Cassie Soto. We'll see you tomorrow.